Hey guys, it's Matt here. I thought I would just let you know that I've put chapters in every single section of this video for ease of viewing. It is a little bit of a long process, but it is actually quite easy if you follow every single step. So make sure you watch the video in its entirety. And if you think you've missed a section, just jump back. If you have any difficulties, please jump on my Discord. The link will be in the description. Alternatively, you can also jump in the Mantella Discord. Other than that, enjoy. Guys, it brings me great pleasure to let you know that Mantella is now working in Fallout 4. And if you don't know what Mantella is, have a look at this. Codsworth, how long have you been tending to this garden in my absence? Hello, Master. I have been maintaining the garden for 250 years since the Great War. I have done my best to preserve as many plants as possible, despite the harsh conditions and decay that followed the destruction of civilization. You've done a very good job of it. Thank you. You're welcome, Master. My main purpose is to serve and protect you and your family, and I am glad to see that my efforts have not gone to waste. That's right, guys. We now have the ability to talk to almost any NPC in Fallout 4 and have a full conversation with them using our microphone. And they know what we're talking about. It uses artificial intelligence. It uses a language model based off of Open Router. That language model can be changed, but we'll get into that later. Long story short, I can talk to any character and they are sentient. They know what I'm talking about. They, they know what I want. It's, it's incredible. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this for Fallout 4. Some of you may have seen my video for Skyrim and um, I'll leave a link in the description on exactly how to do that for Skyrim. But before you have a look at that, I do have to give mad props and respect to yet another modder, AKA Sir Boomer, who is responsible for this port um, from Mantella and from Skyrim into Fallout 4. And I also have to give uh, props to Art From The Machine who did a lot of work, him and his team, in making the Mantella mod and in making this incredible piece of software, which it blows my mind and you'll see why in, in this video. Last but not least, guys, it'd be really appreciated if you liked and subscribed because this is an early development stage. It is going to change slightly and there may be more updates and more videos coming out on this subject. The more people know about this, the more the big developers will know that this is something that they need to invest in. So like and subscribe, stick around. Other than that, let's get into it. So guys, I'd just like to make it clear that you do not have to clear everything. I like to do this just for ease of demonstration so that you can see me do this process from the beginning. Step one is not mandatory and you can actually do this from any stage in the game with almost any mods and any mods that do conflict have been listed in the github step two install fallout 4 with all of the dlcs run the game once you don't have to start a new game just run it once and that will create all of the background files required now you can just leave it there and play this mantella mod using fallout 4 but if we're going to play fallout 4 vr then install fallout 4 vr one thing to note guys is that there have been some issues installing this game in program files now if you do have that issue just drop a comment and i'll show you how to fix it otherwise for me i didn't have any issues so i installed this game in program files now if we look at the game in steam and we right click it and we look at local files and we browse and we look inside fallout 4 and in data select every file that starts with dlc and copy it because we're going to paste that into our vr installation now we're going to head over to fallout 4 vr in our steam folder we're going to right click it we're going to look in local files and we are going to go straight to data and we are going to post all of the files which we've copied all the dlc files straight into that folder and this in itself is really a cool trick because what you've just done now is put all of the dlc that's in fallout 4 into fallout 4 vr which is something which bethesda hasn't even thought of doing and it works it's crazy so now you have hundreds of extra hours of content in fallout 4 vr thank me later 
Now if you select every file that starts with DLC in this folder, you should have 32 files. If you do, you know you've done it right. If you don't, you know that there's a DLC missing that you might need to buy. This game's been out for quite a few years now, so the DLCs are really cheap. Step 5. We're going to head over to Nexus Mods and we're going to download Vortex Mod Manager. Now, two things to note. You can use Mod Organizer too if you're a little bit more advanced. That's completely up to you. I've done this with Vortex Mod Manager because it's simpler to explain. Two, all of the links to everything you're going to need is going to be in the description. So please do have a look at the description. It's going to give you all the links to all the mods and all the applications you are going to need in order to make this work. Step six, we are going to install Vortex Mod Manager and we're going to run it. And when we run it, we'll see a small red icon in the shape of a silhouette. Now, provided that we have Nexus Mods open and logged in, and we click that little red icon, it's going to try and link Nexus and Vortex. And I'd highly recommend you do that because that will allow you to automatically download mods from Nexus to Vortex. Now, step seven. With Vortex logged in, we're gonna go over to games and we're gonna search for Fallout 4. Now, if we're doing this for Fallout 4, we're gonna manage Fallout 4. And if we're doing this for Fallout 4 VR, we're gonna manage Fallout 4 VR. You can choose. This will work for either. However, today we're doing Fallout 4 VR. So I'm managing Fallout 4 VR. I can see that I don't have any mods, so that's good. We're gonna be adding the mods later. However, if I do go down to plugins, I'll be able to see all of the plugins that I copied over from my Fallout 4 installation earlier on in this video. I need to enable all of these. Once they're all enabled, we're good to start installing the mods. Now we're going to head over to the Mantella GitHub and we're going to choose Fallout 4 installation. And this is a full written guide on how to install the game. Here we can see the three files I need to download for flat screen and the three files I need to download if I want to go for VR. I want to go for VR. So I'm going to right click all three of these files that I need to download and I'm going to open them in new tabs. Inside these tabs, I'm going to click download via Vortex and of course because Nexus and Vortex are linked, it's automatically going to download it into my Vortex. The last one I need to consider is the script extender. Now obviously on the script extender page, I'm going to decide to choose VR because I'm playing in VR, but if you're not playing in VR, choose the other file. Now the third file that we downloaded is the script extender. If I drop it into this drop window, it'll automatically install. I do not need to extract it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the orange bar, I'm gonna hit open, and I'm gonna hit open game folder. And in there you can see the script extender for Fallout 4. Now what I want to do is just right click it and create a shortcut because that is how I will be launching the game from now on. I'm gonna drag that shortcut to my desktop and then I also wanna right click it, go into its properties and make sure that it is set to run as administrator. And this is very important. And now for step 11, we're going to head over to the XVA Synth page on Nexus and we're going to download XVA Synth and it's very important, we also download the patcher. Now on this page, you'll also see the voice files for Skyrim Mantella. Don't download any of them, it is not needed. Now here you can see the XVA synth file. I have dragged it into my C drive and that is the same drive where I have installed the Fallout 4 VR game. So just keep them all on the same drive, not in the same directory, but in the same drive. I'm gonna start extracting it. Now bear in mind, there are 80,000 files to be extracted. So it should take about 10 minutes, depending on your PC. And now we're going to open up the XVA folder that we've just extracted. And if you look on my desktop, you can see the patcher. We're going to open up the patcher. We don't have to extract it. We can just drag the files directly from the patcher. And we're going to open up all of these directories and copy everything over from the patcher. It'll say, do you want to replace existing files? Push yes. And that will be XVA synth upgraded to 3.02. Now, while we're here in this folder, we're going to create a shortcut for the XVA synth 
and we are going to stick it on the desktop because we're going to be using it later on. And now we head over to resources, app and models. And inside the models folder, we're going to create a folder called Fallout 4. Now I would just like to point out that this is the difficult way of doing it, but it's the way you have to do it if you do not have Nexus Premium. If you do have Nexus Premium, stay tuned. However, if you do not have Nexus Premium, you're going to have to head over to the XVA Synth page. The link will be in the description and you will need to download each of the voice models individually and put them into this folder, which we've just created. However, I would highly recommend signing up to Nexus Premium. It is a lifesaver. Now, another method to downloading the voice files is to torrent them. If we head over to the Art for the Machine GitHub and we look at XVA and we scroll down to XVA synth model installation options, at the bottom there, you will actually see a torrent magnet and you can just copy that link, stick it into BitTorrent or into uTorrent and you can download all of the voice files that way. It is slower, but it is also a lot easier. Now, here's the easy way of doing it and it can only be done if you have Nexus Premium. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up XVA Synth and your PC might not like it, that's fine. Just push more and then push OK, it will launch. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna push these two arrows at the top. We are gonna search for Fallout 4 and we're gonna select that as our game. At the bottom left, you'll see Get More Voices. Click Get More Voices and then select Check Now at the top. You'll get a whole list of voices there. Make sure that you have deselected all other games and you have only selected the Fallout 4 and then download all. And if we scroll back, you'll see what that's going to do is download each voice file independently and automatically install it into the required folder. What a time saver. Now we're going to install Mantella. I'm going to send a link in the description as always. If you scroll down, you'll see the GitHub, which will show you all of the written instructions. And if you scroll up and look at files, you'll see the download for flat screen and you'll see the download for VR. Obviously, we want to go for VR. Now, here is a list of all the mod requirements, but fear not because the top six are all of the DLCs which we've already installed. We've already installed the Fallout Check Patcher. We've already installed Skyrim Script Extender. We do not need text input menu because that's for typing instead of using our microphone. We've already installed SUP for VR. And we've also already installed XVA Synth and all the voice models. All we need to do now is install the Mantella software. And of course, that'll automatically be installed into Vortex. And now that we've installed the Fallout Mantella, we are actually going to download the full Mantella suite. So I'll send a link in the description and we're going to download it as such. And now that we've downloaded Mantella, we're going to drag it into our C drive just where I've stuck the XVA synth. I'm going to extract it and I'm going to take it out of its parent folder. Now, you don't have to do that, but I prefer to do that. It just makes things a little bit cleaner. Once I've done that, I'm also going to delete all of these uh, compressed folders. We don't need them anymore. And here you can see the inside of the Mantella folder. We are going to make some edits shortly. Now we are going to head over to Open Router. Once again, guys, links in the description. And we're going to make ourselves an account and we're going to go to API keys and we're going to generate a key. I'm going to name this one Fallout 4 VR. Once I've generated this key, I'm going to copy it. Now make sure you do not share this key with anyone because anyone can use this key and use your credits. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the key and we're going to go over into our Mantella folder and we are going to go into secret GPT key and we are just going to paste it right there. Obviously when you close this word file it's going to ask you if you'd like to save it. Make sure you save it. Now you can see I've got some credits and that's because I've been using some higher end language models but actually the one that comes standard with Mantella is free. It's called Toppy and it's a free model so you shouldn't have to pay anything. All right now we're going to head back over to the Mantella page and we're going to select Fallout 4. Check the link in the description when we're going to choose the VA synth section 
and there we're going to see a download for lip and fuzz and for face wrapper uh, i've just scrolled past it but if you look back up here they are right click that open a new tab that's already open we're going to download that as a manual download and then once we've done that we are going to head back and we're going to go to the face wrapper i'm going to click on there and when we go to downloads don't click the top download we don't need that we need the bottom one face wrapper so here we are we're going to click face wrapper download and now we have both of those files and now we're going to head over to our c drive we're going to open up the xva synth folder we're going to scroll all the way through to resources app plugins and we're going to drop the lip and fuzz plugin directly into there and then we're going to go and look at the second download which was if you remember the face wrapper and we're going to go th inside there and we're going to just drag the face wrapper executable into the lip and fuzz folder so that when i look inside plugins and when i look inside lip and fuzz i should be able to see in there the face wrapper and the lip and fuzz plugins there we are there's my lip and fuzz and there's my face wrapper plugins this is what the folder should look like all right now we're going to open xv synth again and we're going to head over to this ae symbol we're going to select cmu dict and then we're going to enable all and apply and we're going to click out of that now this step is exclusively for english so if you're playing the game in any other language you do not need to do this then we're going to hit this plugins button over here and we're going to see our lip and fuzz plugin that we installed earlier and we're going to click yes on that and we're going to apply it now coincidentally if you head back to Montella where we got lip and fuzz if you scroll down there are two optional files they are both plugins and they're installed the same way that we installed lip and fuzz completely up to you they just help with the pitch and with some of the tones and they just help make this the, the audio sound a little bit better but you'd install them like you just installed these last plugins now we are almost there guys we are going to go over to our mantella software and we are going to create a shortcut i'm going to slap that shortcut on the desktop why not and now in here you're going to see the config file this is a very important file so let's edit it now so what we want to do is get the path for our fallout 4 game so the best way to do that is to go down to steam if i can find it here it is right click here and then we're going to go to properties and we're going to go to install files browse and we're going to just click here and control c and that's going to control the root that the game is installed in and we're going to just paste it right here on the fallout 4 vr folder section now we want to find the mod section now mods is quite easy we're just going to open up vortex we're going to click the open section here and we're going to go to open mods folder game mods folder and once again click on the side Control c now we've copied that path we're just going to paste it in over here and then last but not least we need to get the xva synth folder so we're going to go over to our c drive here it is we're going to go into xva synth and we're going to go to the area where the executable is click on the side Control c and we're going to paste that right here now mantella knows where all of the right files are and can operate last but not least scroll to the top it says skyrim vr we want to change that to fallout 4 vr because we're playing in vr obviously if we're playing just fallout we choose fallout if we're playing skyrim vr we choose skyrim vr and now we are almost done what we need to do is push Control f and search for resum we're looking for resummarize prompt and if you look at this line here it says skyrim now we want to change that to the commonwealth we need to make sure that we do lower caps the space higher cap c commonwealth commonwealth with a capital c very important if we miss this step then the npcs they get a little bit confused because some of them they think they're in skyrim now we make sure we save this and we are ready to go 
All right, so first things first, we're gonna open up uh, XVA Synth, and then very importantly, we're gonna to go to library, and we're gonna open Steam VR. It's very important that you open Steam VR before you open anything else, like uh, Fallout 4, very, very important. So, um, I can minimize that XVA Synth, and I've got Steam VR running, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna play the game. So we hit the loader, make sure that that is the um, script extender loader that we made earlier, the shortcut, and we are going to load into a game. And now that we're in game guys, we are going to run the Mantella software. Here you can see it says it doesn't like being in program files, but I've not encountered any issues with it, so I don't know. Now guys, make sure you have left the vault before you start this process because you will not get the gun and the hollow tape until you have left the vault. Once you've done so, you use the gun and you shoot whoever you want to talk to and you say goodbye to end the conversation. The hollow tape will allow you to make any settings and adjustments to the mod in game. How, how can I assist you? Hey, I was wondering if you might be able to tell take me what that gun, smell is. It'll take care of you. I'm afraid it's the smell of death, sir. Oh, A wasteland can be a cruel and unforgiving place. We must learn to deal with it. it smells a bit like uh, poop, doesn't it? Poop and death. Yes, that's an apt description. It's a reminder of the harsh realities we face every day in this world. We must push forward despite these unpleasant encounters. Let me ask you a question. Who's that crazy lady over there that keeps muttering to herself? She's very strange. You're referring to Mama Murphy. She's an important figure in the Minutemen Men and a valued member of our group. She possesses the ability to see the future through visions, making her a vital resource in studying the wasteland. While her behavior may seem unconventional, she has been a great help to us. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Safe travels. All right, when he says safe travels, that means that the conversation is ended. That's very important. You always have to make sure that they say safe travels. But that's it, guys. The mod's are working. Now, if you lose this gun fear not if you go to the very well hidden chem station which is like all the way over here any chem station but you know this is the closest one it's a pain in the ass to get to you can actually go here and you can go to utility and straight away you can see uh, the Mantella gun which you can just just build it make one it requires nothing now there's two things you may notice you may notice that they sound quite robotic and um, those two extra plugins we mentioned earlier can help to fix that but also getting a better model can help fix that too so bear that in mind the second thing you might notice is that there is a little bit of a delay between your question and their answer and that's just Mantella hitting the server where the language model is and it bouncing back listen how are you still alive it's been 250 years i am a domestic model mr happy designed to provide assistance and maintain households the great war happened while i was attending to my duties in sanctuary hills I have been maintaining myself since then using my built-in power source. I'm programmed to be self-sustaining, which is how I've managed to survive for so long. How can I assist you, sir? Goodbye. At least it's not raining. Safe travels. Okay. So you notice sometimes they just waffle and waffle and waffle and waffle. We can fix that we can give it so that they only give you two sentences and i'm going to show you how to do that now 
Now here we are in our C drive, we're going to go into our Mantella folder and we're going to open up config and we are going to scroll down until we see max responses and it is automatically set to 999. We don't want that, we want two. Now, if I set that to two, excellent, they'll give me two responses, I don't have to listen to the waffle all day long. Up here is where you can change the model. So we are on a free basic model. If you go to this website over here, there's a list of models and there are some really good ones there and they're very cheap and they're very much worth it. Now guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do hope this helps you. If it does, please do like and subscribe because this video has taken me a long time to make. Uh, big thanks again to Sir Boomer. Check out the link in the description to check out his YouTube where he'll be putting out the latest and greatest changes that he has been making to this amazing mod. If you're having any technical difficulties, just drop a comment and I'll do my very best to help you out. I have a new membership scheme, so have a look at that and that'll give one-to-one -one tutorials and one-to-one -one guidance on these sorts of mods. And uh, apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys.